Hey, hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to replace the Intec manifold gasket on this Mini Cooper S from 2011. This car has a direct injection system, which means that the injectors are not placed on the Intec manifold. They are gonna be, they are gonna be attached directly to the engine head and therefore it's gonna be relatively easier to remove the Intec manifold. Let's start by removing these two hose clamps with the 8mm socket. Make sure that you can disconnect the hose like that. On this same hose, you've got attached two extra vacuum lines. This one is for the crankcase ventilation. You gotta apply pressure towards that direction and with some sort of pick, you can remove the sear clip. You gotta do the same on the small one as well. Now you should be able to disconnect this hose together with the connector. There is a small connector on the side. The small one as well just pull it off go ahead and with the plier press on the tab on the back of this plastic clip and the wiring harness will disconnect disconnect as well this vacuum brake booster line it has a white tab on the side here like that and disconnect it from here so you can set it aside next with a t30 socket and an extension You've got one bolt here and one here. And here they are, both the bolts and the seal clips. I'm going to organize them in this trailer. And now I'm gonna be able to remove the mass airflow sensor. And this intake hose should come out as well. Just detach it from the turbocharger. The next step is to take out this air filter housing. So we've got a single screw in here. And now you're going to be able to pull on this air filter housing like that and remove it, detach this cable from the side and here it comes. And from this point you can begin to see some components which you might be interested in like the electric power steering motor. I can see here the knock sensor with the 8 mm socket go ahead and remove the manifold absolute pressure sensor unplug the connector if you already watched the video about the mass airflow sensor you can recognize that this sensor is quite similar with this one which is basically measuring as well the pressure inside this intake hose so this engine has two manifold absolute pressure sensors it's quite common for a turbocharged or supercharged engine and the difference between this one and this one is that this one includes as well the intake air temperature sensor that's why you've got four wires instead of three next i'm gonna go ahead and undo these five nuts which holds the intake manifold in position there is one more here i have to admit they are quite easy to get access to compared to other intake manifolds on other cars Once all the nuts are out, just gently pry out the intake like that because it might be stuck a little bit. From this point, you can basically remove the gaskets. If this is your concern, you don't need to remove the whole intake manifold from here. It's still attached to the throttle body and some other components down there, which I cannot see actually, but I will have to find out for the sake of this video. To unplug this connector, you got to press on this tab outwards like that while you press outwards you take it out and down here you've got a wiring harness which you gotta pop it out like that all right so if you have a look from this side you're gonna find the evaporative solenoid which connects on the intake manifold the intake manifold have this metal bracket you can see this solenoid goes like that and you gotta pull it out from there then remove this vacuum line from that hole also you've got this wiring harness which connects as well to the intake manifold on the bottom here right so right now if you have a look there is a 10 millimeter nut down there you can see it in the mirror right in the middle there that one holds the intake manifold to the engine block it connects somehow through this metal bracket and it goes through the engine block you can see so remove that and the intake manifold should be free all right so this is how i did it 
you've got the ratchet in there with a medium and small extension and I've got the mirror positioned somehow that I can barely see the bolt you can see the threads of the bolt down there and the piece of plastic which is a part of the intake manifold you will need the mirror otherwise you will not be able to do this job and you need some sort of small extension like very very flexible as flexible as possible and then you're going to be able to remove this magic bolt now this one is free to come out a little bit more we've got this wiring harness from this side and then we've got this connector all right so now the only thing that's left is the throttle body okay and finally the intake manifold comes out all right so with the intake manifold out now i can present to the components down here this is the evaporative solenoid this hose down here which goes all the way to the blue line goes to the evaporative canister this is the turbocharger westgate solenoid which basically takes the vacuum from the intake and it releases when the computer wants and then you've got also access to the starter just have a look down here and count how many connectors you have so you're gonna know how many to reconnect so we've got this white connector goes on the solenoid from the wastegate reconnect it from now so you're gonna know this one is for the solenoid down here that all the connectors are on this one i'm gonna keep them for later because i will have access even with the manifold on so it's important to do this step because if you forget to plug in one of these connectors you gotta do this job again so <laughs> that's uh, that's the worth to double check i will just place the manifold on let's disconnect this evaporative solenoid so i can put it on the bracket here the throttle body connector here it comes I reconnect this oil pressure sensor back now let's install back the map sensor and finally let's install back these manifold nuts first I will tie them by hand all right we got to torque the nuts to 20 newton meters which is around 15 foot pounds And that's it guys, that's how you remove the intake manifold and replace the gasket or get access to another part. Thanks for watching, if you want to see more videos about this car there is going to be a link in the description below with all the videos I made about this Mini Cooper S. And until next time, drive safe so I can see you soon.